to meet you. Nice Paul. to meet you. Yes. And one company is innovating to address a new challenge posed by solar panels. The 2000s saw solar adoption surge, but many panels only last around 30 years. With billions installed around the world, we face a ticking time bomb. If they are not recycled properly, the waste will flood the world. Wow, that's quite a problem that we want to solve. Yeah. The biggest challenge is removing the adhesive resin so materials can be recovered. Masaki tells me that the answer lies in extreme heat. The temperature is about 500 degrees. 500 degrees. The furnaces break down plastics into gas, which is reused as fuel, an excellent example of circular efficiency. After several heatings, clean materials are salvaged. It's very fine pieces, isn't it? Only the frame really has survived. Recycled aluminium can become products like drink cans, electronics or car parts. It really is on a journey. Advanced sorting means metals like silver and copper are saved. It looks so pretty, it looks like diamonds. <laughs> Multiple stages of screening results in glass that is 99.999% pure. Oh, this thing's happening. <laughs> <laughs> so it can tell if there's something in there that shouldn't be, and yes. then we'll stop it. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. Raining glass. <laughs> bit raining glass. This plant can process 90,000 panels annually, creating flat glass for windows or even new solar panels. But far more recycling plants are needed to meet demand. Still, we need the thousand plants of this size to cover all the panels already installed. It's amazing to see how lessons from its past are shaping the eco-conscious innovations of Kitakushu today. If solar panels are a part of our green future, we need to ensure they don't become the waste of tomorrow.